five. It's probably worse than a pun. It's probably probably uh, worth nothing at the moment. So I think this is the reason why Bishop a five is a mistake. And now he played Queen f six. He thought after Queen f six, the only move that White is going to have is Bishop d two. But then he missed that. He missed the chance that White could just play um, Bishop c one. And black can't really take on c3 because of b takes c3. Um, because of bishop takes c3, b takes c3, queen takes c3. White just could just play rook a3 with two bishops advantage. And on the next move, white's going to take the b5 pawn and controls the controls the whole board. Well, I would think that this is just winning. So. I think he's really confused now on what to do. I mean, his position is so dry and there's really not much to do. So bishop c1, and for some reason, because of all the because of that, <coughs> he took here, which is probably a losing move. Probably because his position was planless and it was boring. He's lost his sense here and blundered upon. Though there aren't a lot of other good alternatives since his position is so crammed and so undeveloped. Mm, now queen takes a4. He missed that. His rook is under attack. At the same time the bishop was under attack too, so, which forces him to play queen d4 check. Get, getting to um, a lost ending. Queen d4 check. Queen takes d4. C takes d4. Rook takes a5. D takes c3. B takes c3. And now, it's obvious that white's position is just winning. White has everything. The two bishops, an extra pawn, and the leading development. And the rest was probably just a matter of technique. <coughs> and now, just to finish up the game, he played knight f6, trying to to improve his knight, knight's position, bishop f4, prepares the rook on f1 to switch into the queen side, b1 or a1, now rook d8, rook f a1, I think rook b1 is even better, and it's probably more deadly, because white's going to penetrate on b6, but anyway, rook F A one wins as well. Rook F A one. Knight E eight. H four. Just trying to restrict his f um, other funny plans that he might have. So, and Rook A seven. He's now running out of moves. Bishop E three. Rook B seven. Bishop takes A six. Now I'm up two pawns. Uh, Rook takes a6, knight c7. And now rook b6. White's just winning this. Um, and finally, black couldn't take the pressure that then he took here and resigned. So, the lesson in this game is that before you give up the center, you must make, sh uh, you sh you must make sure that most of the time that you'll be able to pressure it later on. Don't give up your center too easily, because... Your space and your counterplay might just disappear, and you might find yourself in the same position as the Grandmaster did. Um, and another thing is that be patient. Small small positional advantages can actually turn into a material advantage. Sometimes large amounts of material. Anyway, that would be the end of my lecture. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you liked the lecture. See you again on the next video, and I hope you all enjoyed.